Lopez hated staring into the dark. Even with the night vision device, the single PVS-14 monocular was a third generation model, making it low tech even when it had been issued to him years ago. Despite the lack of peripheral vision and grainy illumination, he was grateful. It was the only reason he had been able to detect movement in the dark. And even then, just barely. He called out, only as loud as he needed to, a tense whisper. Ego. He waited for the return. A dreadful, silent second passed. Shrinking behind the hard cover of a tree, he aimed his rifle, hovering his left thumb over the pressure pad on the infrared device. Applying pressure would illuminate the area in front of him with an IR lamp, bathing the area in an infrared light, but also giving away his position if the trespassers were using night vision as well. Some deuce. Lopez lowered his rifle. The call was answered. Slowly, the tall form of Scout Captain Lilith appeared. Unlike the ambush, Lilith had stripped down her gear to the bare minimum. No elk mantle, no skulls, no terror gear to speak of. Instead, she had a chest rig layered over a filthy t-shirt and equally grimy jeans with the helmet to mount a night vision monocular. Even without her ceremonial gear, Lopez was always unnerved by how such a huge woman could move so silently. Like a forest spirit, like an apparition. By contrast, the squad that fell in behind her seemed clumsy. They didn't have the same fluid movement, almost stumbling in the dark. Lopez didn't look at his captain when she took up a position next to him. Why didn't you check in when you were close? He was irritated, both at the poor awareness of the squad and with Lilith for bringing in such novices on the job training. They need to know how to operate when comms are down. Lilith wasn't casual with her words. They came out firm. She didn't seem content with the situation. Too many of our scouts are wearing out. Our tempo has been too high. We had to pull from some of the support guys. The Leviathan Brigade had been on the move for months. The Dominion of Latter-day Saints had taken a more aggressive posture in ungoverned America, which meant more crusades, which had kept the Leviathan Brigade on constant intercept missions. Lopez tried not to think about it too much. The Brigade had taken dozens of casualties, most of which were scouts. Although the armor frames of the Vanguard were tasked with the frontline combat duties of Leviathan, the scouts were always the most forward unit, and most likely to make initial contact with the enemy. Today would be no different. Lopez still had a grievance. He was careful in his next few words. Captain, Lilith turned from observing the squad to face Lopez. This got her attention. Within pagan units, ranks and titles only carried as much as respect as they were given. Amongst Leviathan, captains were elected by the platoons they were to command and addressing one by rank meant something serious. You have my attention, Scout. Lilith's tone was cold. Not to reprimand, but to be clear. Through the grainy green hue of the night vision monocular, Lopez could make out her face, gaunt and pocked with shrapnel scars. One destroyed eye obscured by a patch, and the other by a monocular similar to his. Lilith held an intimidating presence, even amongst those that had known her before the Leviathan Brigade was founded. The scout captain seemed to be built for violence. Her body was armored in dense muscle and able to move explosively at will. Her face even formed a kind of death mask, fixed into a permanent grimace from poorly healed wounds. Lilith was an apparition of warfare, and she was elected because she had the combat record to prove it. Captain, this op is serious. Lopez gulped before speaking further. Despite his trust in Lilith, he couldn't help but feel unnerved by her full attention. If we fuck up here, we're going to be screwed for a while. Why bring the B team? If Lilith had a reaction, Lopez couldn't detect it on her face. There was an uncomfortable silence. 
long enough to be felt. Lopez focused on Lilith, staring back into her face as she stared into his, despite a primal instinct within him telling him to avert his eyes. Lilith fished two items out of a small GP pouch on her chest rig. Lopez could make out a small nick pen and an old Altoids container. She tossed the pen to Lopez first before speaking. Because you're right, Lope. She spoke much more casually than before, popping open the Altoids tin while Lopez took a drag from the pen. His weary synapses were grateful for the brief flood of nicotine, caffeine, and a mystery third chemical he couldn't determine. This op is critical as shit, Lilith spoke while handing out tablets to each member of Lopez's fire team. She was handing out battle sacraments, and worn out soldiers make mistakes. Lilith made her way back to Lopez. He extended his hand out as he had done dozens of times before. The support team does more than just keep us fed, she lectured as she popped two tablets into his palm. He didn't bother asking what they were. He simply threw both of them into his mouth and cracked them both with his molars before swallowing them. They'll do fine as backup for now. The favored combat drug of Leviathan was a hand-pressed pill, 5 milligrams of home-cooked amphetamines, 100 milligrams of caffeine, and 2 milligrams of any opiate they could get their hands on. Lopez could feel the chems entering his bloodstream, the conflicting effects of the uppers and the downers ricocheting through his system. The pills had a primary purpose of temporarily boosting aggression and awareness, but its secondary effect was almost as important. The ritual of accepting battle sacrament functioned as a psychosocial sign amongst those who partook, a conditioning tool that readied the user for unrelenting violence.